Okay, dokie guys, welcome back again to the channel. So as you can see from the title of the video and the thumbnail, today I'm going to show you guys how we can finally use DLSS frame generation on older NVIDIA GPUs, 2000 and a 3000 series. As I have a 3090, I always wanted to give a try to DLSS frame generation, but unfortunately NVIDIA has a limited uh the frame generation technology only to the 40 series gpu but long and behold we have the savior coming for us which basically in this case is amd so if you don't know guys amd finally has gone open source which means uh, whoever has knowledge about um uh, AMD FSR 3 you can uh, get it and use it which basically these guy or guys have uh, already done so basically they have uh, gotten FSR 3 and they have implemented it to, uh, through a DLSS pipeline which means we can use actually FSR 3 but enable it as being frame generation for older NVIDIA GPUs. I mean, I don't want to get into details because I'm not even able to, but anyway, basically we can now enable a, a DLSS frame generation for older GPUs, although it's not native DLSS frame generation, but it's still nonetheless frame generation. As you see here, yeah, I've chosen this spot, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I am in 4K, everything ultra. So yeah, just let me show you. So basically 4K, everything ultra, DLSS uh, in quality, no retracing for the moment. I mean, it says custom because I have disabled uh, film grain, chromatic aberration and motion blur because these are settings that I don't like. Uh, so uh, ultra, but no retracing, as I mentioned, DLSS quality 4K with a 3090. And I'm getting in this area at least around 50 FPS. And as you see, I mean, you already saw, but as you see, we can now toggle DLSS frame generation uh, and use it. But before we go into that, of course, I need to show you how you can enable DLSS frame generation for your uh, 2000 or 3000 GPU from NVIDIA. So first of all, we need to go to download the files or the application that we need to enable uh, uh, frame generation on older GPUs, which is uh, this one here from Nukem 9. Of course, I'm going to leave the, uh, the links in the video description. This is the GitHub. I would suggest you go through GitHub, although you can find it directly on the Nexus mode. Uh, so uh, go to the link, then you will have the link to the Nexus mode, where basically if you don't have an account, you can create an account in 30 seconds, it's free. If you want to help them, you can also use a paid version. And as of now, we are, uh, for this application, we are in version 0 0.9. So of course, uh, this is uh, an open source thing. So uh, uh, modders are getting it, uh, using it and um, getting it better over time. So doing changes. So that's why we are at version 0 0.9, not, not even version one. So technically uh, this means that uh, it's still new. So you might have problems, but those problems are going to get uh, fixed. Anyway, first thing, of course, we need to download uh, the file after we download it. So these are the files uh, after uh, downloading them. So basically, uh, the first thing we need to do, we need to go to the root folder of Cyberpunk. If you have it on Steam like me, just go to the Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Cyberpunk. This is the main folder. After that, we need to go to bin and then x64. This is the final folder where we need to be, basically where uh, the Cyberpunk exe it is located. And in here we need to go first and copy this file, DLSS to FSR, da -da 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 -da, this one and NVNGX DLL and copy them to the main folder of the game uh, that I, sh uh, I showed the root folder of uh, Cyberpunk exe, uh, like I showed you before. But before you go any further, basically what we're going to do with this application, we're going to modify the registry of our windows. So if you're not comfortable with that, if you don't trust uh, the modders, of course, I would say uh, do it at your own risk, but I have already tried it and nothing happened to my PC. At least I don't care. You can do whatever you want, but keep in mind, do it at your own risk. So after you 
uh, copy the files we need to uh, we need to double click on this file to run the modification on the registry uh, so if you later decide to undo those you also have this file uh, down here that it says restore what we have changed but another extra step that you can do before doing this is to go ahead and create a restore point of your entire system through windows so if anything happens uh, later maybe you're going you're getting a constant crashes with the game maybe you're not even loading the game or maybe you just want to remove what you uh, have uh, already done you can create a restore point and then restore to that point at least with the registry so everything is going to be fine anyway from now on as I told you copy the files into the root folder then we double click um, uh, this one here I have already done it you're gonna get a bunch of notifications and warning you just click yes you agree next 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 basically it's really easy now of course you need to do everything uh, uh, with the game closed although I have it open right now because I have already done it and after you do that and when you launch the game for the first time you might or you might not get a screen where it says something I don't know I didn't get that screen actually but I saw it uh, I saw it on another video on the internet where basic basically it said that uh, when you launch the game for the first time ever do the modification you're gonna get um, you're gonna get a notification uh, where it says that uh, you have done the changes but even if you don't get that for me it worked I didn't get it because the guy on the video said that if you don't get this message it means you have done something wrong but I didn't get the message but for me uh, as you saw DLSS uh, it's open okay so now right immediately to the performance let's see how we go so as you see in this area 48 50 48 50 46 uh, 4k as I already told you ultra so now let's go ahead and immediately enable frame generation DLSS quality we're gonna leave everything the same enable it goes to auto in automatic so keep this in mind so we're gonna get it to quality again uh, didn't change anything no retracing as I already told you apply and see how it goes anyway although I have already done it I haven't tried for the performance so this is going to be the first time for me and I'm actually excited so let's see how it goes hopefully it's gonna be good oh 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 my god more than double the performance oh this is so smooth what oh I don't see any freaking artifacts oh oh yeah the 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 HUD the uh, oh my god I don't care about those but it is so good oh my god 115 more than double and look at the frame time oh my god I'm really impressed actually because Look at the frame time. It's uh, 8, 9, 10 milliseconds. So frame time, it's actually really good, which means frames are, are actually being generated, not copied. Like uh, sometimes FSR 3 does. It's actually generating frames. Oh my god, 9.3 milliseconds. Oh, that's really good. I say this because the videos that I, ha I have watched on the internet, they, uh, the guys were, were getting... Uh, I mean, yeah, high FPS, but they were getting like 50, 60, 40 milliseconds frame time. Or maybe, be uh, yeah, maybe it might be because they were running into an older version of this application. I think it was version 0 0.4. This version is 0 0.9. And that's why I mentioned that um, this is going to get better through time. And it's, oh my God, this is actually really good. So 4K, oh my God, which means... For me, at least for the 3090, I think I can even enable freaking path tracing here. Uh, let's go path tracing immediately. Of course, uh, ray reconstruction. Well, with path tracing, I think we're going to go to performance for the DLSS. I don't think it's capable in quality even with this performance bump. So path tracing, DLSS frame generation, ray reconstruction, performance, DLSS, everything in order video 4k oh my god okay oh my god let's see holy shoot 60 fps with path tracing at 4k with a 3090 i mean i mean you have to also keep in mind i'm also recording i have opened a bunch of application brave folders oh my god so the performance i think is going to be at least five percent better after i have closed everything up 
I mean, it's not a, a, a really good performance at 50 or 60, but I mean, it's playable and a freaking 4K path tracing. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm freaking impressed. I was I was expecting way less. No stuttering. A little bit of grainy, of course, with uh, path tracing. With a 3090, it's normal, I guess. 70 FPS, oh my god. Of course, in crowded area, it's going to be way worse, but... This is amazing. I can path tracing in 4K with a 3090. Oh, guys, you should... Oh, you should definitely try this one. For sure. What the heck? Okay, there you have it, boys. I mean, what else we can try? I mean, my monitor, it's... Uh, it's a 1440p, so I can even go down to 1440p at this point. I mean, I don't need 4K for this game. Oh, my God, 120 path tracing. Oh, that's amazing. Sorry, guys, that I'm rumbling on and shouting, but I'm so... Oh, my God. With path tracing, I was barely even to get 30 FPS before. I ha Yeah, we have a little bit of shimmering, but who freaking cares? I don't care. It's shimmering in the distance. I don't know if you can notice there, but I don't freaking care. Oh, my God, 120. Wait, let's try... Uh, let's, oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's try quality. Path tracing on, okay, everything. Uh, the, uh, the shimmer is still uh, present in the distance, but near, oh my god, it's so good. Oh, look at the reflections, that path tracing, that's real reflections, real time. Holy shoot, okay. There you have it, boys. Uh, definitely stay tuned because I'm going to try other games that uh, support uh, NVIDIA uh, frame generation. Because apparently this mod is not only for Cyberpunk, but is for basically every game that supports frame generation. So we're going to give a try to those games also, at least the games that I own. And I hope we're going to get the same performance. No tearing, no stuttering. A little bit on the lights, but yeah, it's not huge. Oh my god. Pat's racing finally on the 30 series. So I'm pretty sure in 1080p, 1440p with with a 2000 series, you can basically play it. I'm not saying path tracing, but you can play, play it very good with some ray tracing on. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to leave it here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it was a little bit longer than I thought unnecessarily but I'm so freaking excited actually so yeah don't forget all that good stuff subscribe like share and stay tuned for other for other testing about this technology okay then thank you very much guys as usual catch you on the next one bye bye